Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a product to a Joomla 2.5 site using Virtumart 2.0. Uh, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to type in your domain name with the uh, forward slash and administrator, and then use your login, username, and password to log in. Once you log in, you'll see this control panel. This is the Joomla administration control panel. Um, what you want to do is uh, go to Virtumart here. You're going to want to click on products here or here. It's the same. So you'll click on products. If you haven't already entered product categories, you can enter them very easily. Um, this tutorial is just going to show you how to add a product. The, um, the, uh, if you want to some advanced features like custom sizes, uh, custom colors, you would need to, to add custom fields and um, this tutorial is not going to get into that. Um, I do have more advanced tutorials that show you how to do um, categories, custom fields, taxes and, and set up a complete Virtumart cart. This tutorial is a simple one that's just going to show you how to add a product. So you would just click new you'd enter in an SKU uh, unique uh, identification it could be the product name if you if you can't think of one or it could be oftentimes uh, companies use a number uh, with a product designation like DR for diamond ring and maybe 2 carat 2C it could be uh, whatever system you're using so here the product name will be uh, 2 carat diamond ring and um, the alias here will be created automatically when you click save here um, it's just usually going to be uh, a sim a lower case version of the uh, the product name uh, with little dashes in between to fill it in um, it'll look similar to to this up here but it'll be the product name and so when you go to that page it'll actually be part of the URL so it'll automatically have your keywords in it the uh, product alias uh, it won't let you save if let's say you had another product called two carat diamond ring um, unless you give it a unique alias so normally I would never fill this in unless for some reason it didn't let me save I would uh, rename it and maybe add a, a 2 or an A or a B or something at the end of it to give it a unique alias um, if you want to make the product featured you can do it here you can also do it from the uh, the list that you saw earlier the um, cost price if you add it here um, all these other fields will be automatically filled in and I won't get into the advanced options if you have a manufacturer you can enter it and you can add manufacturers here and I'm not going to get into that here you can add your categories I recommend adding uh, the lower if you're if you're going to be adding uh, let's say you wanted to add featured designers and then all of these subcategories or you wanted to to add uh, you wanted to add it to um, the fine jewelry category but also have the main collections page feature this item as well you would um, I would recommend first clicking on fine jewelry because you'll notice that once you click on um, collections uh, it automatically disappears from the list and then it can sort of get confusing like once you start adding those main level categories now what what are the subcategories it, I'd add my subcategories first and then the the top level categories uh, second to avoid any confusion unless you're just very familiar with everything there a shopper group uh, I'm not going to get into that but if you had different types of shoppers when they log in and they needed to see different pricing or something they could they could see that I'm going to skip over a lot of the things that but here you can you can uh, enter in a, this is necessary a short description this will show up in the um, in the uh, usually uh, in the preview if you have a short description it will show up here so you could just put uh, this is this is a short dis uh, oops I misspelled that this is a short description okay this is a long description long and when you um, when you click on an item, it 
takes you to a detailed page where uh, they'll see the uh, the uh, I think this might be the short description here actually and this is the long description here on this particular site it looks different on every site um, the uh, the product status I skip over all this stuff uh, unless you're tracking inventory or or need to use any of these advanced features I usually just click this off um, because I don't like the way it looks and I don't usually need it so I turn off the availability date the uh, which is by default on for some reason the um, the product length with height you're not going to need those unless you're doing um, real-time quotes from DHL and FedEx which is a custom module that you need to install it costs a little bit extra but the um, it, they don't have a free version for Virtue Mart yet but the um, if you were going to do live shipping quotes uh, for your products and your shipments you need to enter in for each product the, the length width and height so that UPS and FedEx can get the accurate data they need to quote you or your, your customers when they're on your site most people um, will just either include the shipping in the price or have a uh, flat rate shipping per shipment um, uh, I'm not going to get into the uh, the shipping uh, cost right now the product image is uh, very easy you just click upload browse to your computer browse to the folder that you want to browse to and um, then click save there's no upload button um, you have to click save first what it'll do is it'll save your product it won't be published it hasn't been published yet but it will save it and then you can go back to your image and you'll see that um, this is the original size of the image I recommend not too big because it'll it'll if when you when you when you double click on this image that's going to be the original size and that's a little small but you know your screen is only so big so you really don't need it to be over a thousand pixels wide at the very most and that'll be almost from side to side I'd recommend something like 400 by 500 you don't want it getting so big that they're not going to be able to click on this little X uh, so 400 to 500 will just fill in the center of the screen nicely um, you know 600 800 but never more than a thousand um, uh, that might cause some problems for people on cell phones too. Uh, something to think about. Um, the thumbnail is automatically created though. Um, if you go to your configuration button here and click on configuration, the third tab over, um, one, two, three templates, you'll see that uh, it's using a 280 by 280, which is a square shape. And so if you go to the uh, home page, or any of, you'll see that all the uh, thumbnails are square they're all square images these have white background so it's hard to see but they're all square so um, when I publish this it's gonna look a little weird those are featured items so let me click the featured alright yeah it says right there featured products so once you click the featured item it'll show up in your featured module okay so you'll notice this is sort of rectangular and these are square so it looks kind of weird one way to avoid that is by cropping your image square before you um, upload it and um, if for some reason it's a picture like this by cropping it square you're gonna crop off some important part like the left wing of this house or something one thing you could do is just crop it square but um, leave some white space on the top and the bottom uh, and save it as a PNG file so that, that that area is clear that way it'll still be centered and in the same uh, position it'll just um, you know instead of if you notice here it's floating a little bit uh, a little bit high you know so if you were to make it square but have a, an invisible image area at the top or the bottom by saving it as a dot PNG um, with the transparent uh, background on the top and the bottom uh, so that it would be square uh, it would look nicer um, the uh, okay so once you have your image uploaded um, here's where you would enter custom fields and I have a more advanced tutorial for that and that's basically it you can really do this in one minute if I wasn't talking so much uh, it's very easy to add a product